Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a barn. It's going to have, down in this area, it's going to have a ton of sunflowers all down through here. It's going to cover probably half the barn, but it looks really nice. I have a picture of it on my iPad, and um, that's what we're going to do today. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start up in our sky. There's going to be some trees sticking up back in here. Pretty much like there always is. You always got to have trees in the painting. Yeah, if this painting turns out the way I want it to, it'll be a pretty nice one, I think. We just got to cross our fingers and hope for the best, right? We always want them to turn out good. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Let me get some white. I'm going to lighten up a few spots here and there before I go much further. Just here and there. I'm not sure how far to bring down the sky there, so I'm just bringing it down. Just make sure I cover what I need for it to cover. And we're just going to blend this up. My main mission right now is just to get some color down on the canvas. That's my main mission right now at this point. Like I said, I'm gonna have, probably have a big tree here. One or two back in here. It's gonna cover a lot of this sky right here. So let me get started on this barn. Okay, I've got, uh, I've got the collar down on, on the barn right there. Well, I'm gonna use this big brush. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. There's a path running across through here and I'm gonna go ahead and put some grass in right here with the one inch brush. Uh, it's not cheating, I'm just kidding you. I just, it's a quicker way to do it rather than using just a regular number six brush, round brush. A lot of people do it this way. It's nothing wrong with it. Just trying to save a little time here. And there's a little walkway right there, as I said. Got to remember the walkway. And I'm going to put some above the walkway right here. I'm almost out of green. I can just get this little bit here, I'll make it. And I made it. Because these are sunflowers and I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some black. When I got my iPad down there I'm looking at. A lot of this right here is gonna be dark. All this down to here. I'll put dark down first and then I'll put the green on top of the dark. I have a little touch of green here. This goes all the way across. And it comes up pretty high even on this door. I mean the sunflowers are they're right in here, man. I mean they're they're tall. Let me go ahead and mark it out. Looks like they go up, come down, and work all the way across. There's going to be a lot of sunflowers in this one. I'm going to have to use a little Prussian blue, and that's okay too, simply because now I'm running low on black. 
this is my last painting of the day and I hate to fill my palette up with all kinds of different colors I need to leave them set around and if something happens I can't get to it tomorrow and then sometimes you gotta throw your collars away if they get too hard on you too stiff but we're gonna make it this will work this is gonna be all I'm gonna do today because it's getting late and I'll finish with this hopefully tomorrow or maybe the day after that'll give some of this paint time to dry and I can work on it anyway I do that sometimes on I do that on purpose a lot of times because it's hard to paint on top of this I could wipe it off but it's still kind of still gets a little tough to paint but in a day or two this should be good enough we can paint on it I've started to work on my barn here a little bit I'm gonna go ahead I got my iPad right here that I'm looking at I am gonna go ahead and put some collar in here and get this going I want to do that before I do the sunflowers because the barn is behind the sunflowers and it will make it a little easier in the long run just to go ahead and do this first I said this barn's kind of a kind of a dark barn. I'm using some black, some Prussian blue, and I'm mixing it with some black. This side here is a little bit lighter, obviously, but it's this is a pretty dark little barn. And it's going to have some streaks of white in it here and there. It's, it's an old dirty barn. Dirty dark barn. I'm going to take a little bit of a uh, little brown, little burnt sienna, just a touch of ochre. Just kind of give it some extra flavor here. Got to be careful doing that because it's got with the yellow ochre because it has blue in it. it might turn it green. Yeah, be kind of careful. Let's try the burnt sienna and brown without the ochre. It don't look too bad. It just takes a little time to get to where you want it. We're just going to keep doing this for a while. And then I'll hit this. I might save this for later. But you got to get your barn done first. This barn does have a little sign above it right here. It's not an abandoned barn. I mean, it's, it's usable. It's just dark on this side. The boards are very, very weathered. All right, I'm just going to keep doing this. I've been working on my barn here a little bit, and I'm going to take a break from that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in background leaves across this whole thing right here. I'm just doing the old comma stroke trick here and I'm going to do this right now because it would make it easier when I put the heads of the sunflowers on these are just this is nothing but a background all this is just some random colors some dark green light green and I believe it comes probably about down into here and this is going to be black area maybe some little maybe a little bit of blue just a bunch of random colors. I get a little blue and throw it in here. See, that looks all right. Just because we're going to have quite a few sunflowers in here, and we want the background already in. We don't want to work around the sunflowers, the heads of the sunflowers. Some brighter yellow. Just crisscross strokes, comma strokes, just like that.
I'll take a few minutes to get all these in. Grab some of the blue. Blue especially be helpful down here toward the bottom. This is kind of dark anyway down in here. And we're just going to keep going like this all the way across. Till we get it filled in. Sap green, cad yellow, light, and blue is what I'm using. Now this has got to have a lot of sunflowers in it. And I'm going to go all the way across. All right, I went ahead and put some put some leaves on these trees. That's just my undertone. I'm going to put a midtone on them now. I'm just going to take some yellow. Since I just put these on here, these are still pretty wet. And just by using yellow, this will give me my midtone. You'll see it just mixes right in with the green. That's really all you got to do. Because this is still wet. I just did it. Just a few minutes ago. I'm just I'm doing the comma strokes today. I'm not I'm not using the one inch brush. I do that a lot. I use the one inch brush and just stomp it in. I call it the Bob Ross stomp. I do it all the time. There's nothing wrong with it. I just didn't want to today and decided to do this. Thought it might look better. You probably hear my cat, by the way. She likes to show up when I'm doing a video. And like clockwork here she is <laughs> there she is she likes everybody to say hi to her whether you want to or not yeah these are just my mid-tones just throwing some yellow on this collar that I have here already I think this turned out real good right there. I like that. Now if I can get my sunflowers to turn out good, we'll, we'll call it a success, won't we? The sun's coming down this way. So I'm working on the right side with the highlight stuff. Give me some more. And these, we're just going to keep doing this for now. Just mixing up, varying the colors. You always want a good color variation. Okay. Now I'm going to put some brighter highlights. Let me wipe my brush out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my palette down here and I'm going to hold this roll of paper towels in my hand. And I'm going to get a nice load of yellow. And I'm going to start from the outside of the leaves and work my way in. Because I want a nice highlight. And by starting on the outside, see that looks pretty good there. It doesn't mix with the paint. I can put a nice bunch of yellow on it before it starts mixing. And then I'll work toward the center part of it. And that's how you get these nice highlight effects. I like a good highlight. This yellow I have, this is um, CAD Yellow Light. Man, I, I like it. I mean, it's good paint. I like the way it looks. And this is just Wins Windsor & Newton, I believe is the name brand. I don't buy that real expensive paint. I don't see any reason to. Because that Windsor & Newton, it's a good mid-priced paint. And they don't pay me to say this. This is my experience. And um, Man, for the price, I mean, shoot. I don't see any reason to get any expensive pie. I'd like to get gambling and all that stuff, but man, I don't want to pay the price for it, to be honest with you. 
Not that I'm cheap, but um, you know, why waste money if you don't have to? Let's put a spot or two right in here. Maybe right here. Just a little right up in here. Maybe some right there. Okay, got that. Let me take a look. That's nice and bright. I like that. Yeah, I just really like this cad yellow light. I mean, it just shines. All right, I'm going to start. I'm putting in these sunflowers here. I did a few to practice on to see the best way to do it. I just got me a brush. And I'm just kind of, um, just kind of making some marks here and there. And then I take another brush and I pull it out a little bit. I'm just putting it, putting on some paint basically with this brush. Pretty good amount. Let's put one there and there. And then I'm taking another brush, which I got behind me here. And I'm taking this, this is a little thin, little small bristle brush, detail brush, detail round. I'm just pulling it out. It takes a little time to do this, but I mean, you know, if it looks good, then it's okay. And then we've got to come back with our dark center, like a sunflower has in it. But this one's just a detail round brush. I'm just trying to give it some the leafy leaves, leafy characteristic, I guess you could say. Instead of just a blob of yellow paint, we're pulling it out a little bit. And so far, I think this is probably the best way to do the sunflower thing. Just got to figure out the best way to do stuff. There, there's probably an easier way. I don't know. But this is how we're going to do it today. And I just switch brushes. This is Cad Yellow Light, of course. And we're just going to keep making our way across here. There's quite a few sunflowers here. I mean, I got to say, some are a little bigger. I'll make this one a little bigger. Uh, maybe this one will be a little bigger. Especially in this area, there seems to be a lot of sunflowers. Right in the center of the painting. We're just going to keep right on a going. I always plant sunflowers at my house every year anyway. I usually have Mexican sunflowers. They're kind of orangish looking. These are just traditional sunflowers here. The yellow kind. Okay, I'm going to keep doing this all the way across, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the center of the flowers on here. And it looks like it's brown. i got a little brown and white and a little yellow ochre mixed up. Maybe a little more brown in it. These flowers are still a little wet where I just put the yellow on. I mean, we'll put a little bit more brown in it until we get it the way we want it. Even a little bit more. It's mixing with the yellow is what's going on. So I want it a little darker than, than what it's showing. 
I'll just keep getting more brown, mixing it up. So far, I really like it. I'm just going to use straight brown on it this time, see what happens. Maybe that's the way to go, just straight brown. Since the yellow is wet. And this is that same brush I was using to pull the flowers out with a minute ago. It's a real small round, it's a number two round. And we're just going to keep doing this. I might have to go back over some of them, and I might, with a little bit of black for the center, just touch a little spot of black on some of these centers, if it needs it. Some spots might. And some spots might not. I like how this painting has turned out so far. I'm just going to keep doing this all the way across. All right, we're going to go ahead and work on the bottom area here a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put some grass in. I'm going to take some yellow and some green. Sun's coming down this way. And I'm going to go ahead and pop some grass in. I want this to be a little brighter because it gets darker as you come down toward the bottom of the painting. I'm just using a fan brush here. stomping it in with the fan brush. Then I'll hit the road, then I'll hit the bottom of the grass down there. Got to do it in order, don't you? A little more green. It looks like we're finished. I hope you enjoyed this painting. I really like how it turned out. I like these sunflowers here. They really, really make the painting stand out. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos. Thanks for watching.